Now over to the Frisco Bowl. And on this one, San Diego State and UTSA. This There's been a massive line shift here. Just massive line shift. Opened, or not opened, when we talked about it earlier last week on the BetUS show, Sincere McCormick, the running back for UTSA, had not opted out of the game yet. And before he opted out, UTSA was a two-and-a-half-point favorite. And now that he has opted out, when I looked at the line just before recording, UTSA is now a two-and-a-half-point dog. Is one running back really worth five points in a bowl game like this? I, I think this is a bit of an overreaction. I, I don't know that I necessarily liked UTSA beforehand, but I don't know that there's a massive drop-off between Sincere McCormick and the next guy up. Like, if Frank Harris is still playing. You know, call me crazy, but I, I think that UTSA can give a fight here. So I'm going to roll with UTSA at, minus, or at plus two and a half. I, I was a little wary of them being a two and a half point favorite, but as a two and a half point underdog, I feel like that line shift is just bananas. On, uh, on this one, here is our gift package for them, a gift suite, which, again, I don't like it when it's the only thing that you're getting, but I'm okay with it when you got all this other stuff, right? They also get a Herschel backpack, a Justin Cowboy hat, big game autographed football. Who knows? I mean, it's so ridiculous. Uh, a beanie, a commemorative coin, and a lapel pin. And that is from the Tropical Smoothie Cafe Frisco Bowl. Interesting. So 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN for this one. I'm going to ride UTSA. UTSA 7-1 against the spread against winning teams this year. They are 4-1 against the spread against the non-conference. And San Diego State, 5-1 and one against the spread as a dog. They are 5-1-1 one and one against the number after a straight-up loss. This is uh, trying to figure out what, what San Diego State is going to be is the most difficult thing. Now, they obviously can stop the run. There's a lot of stuff going on there with that. But San Diego State's offense is so bad, and I fully expect UTSA to be able to put up some points. I think they can put up points. And if they can and SDSU cannot... That's the way I'm looking at this. So I'm uh, I'm going to ride UTSA plus the two and a half for our pick them here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.